All right, see? Look at what we got here today. A couple Canadians. A couple Canadians. There you go. Um, so, we've got a special uh, double feature for you today. So, welcome all you whiskey researchers to Trenny and C. He's Trenny. I'm C. And we're reviewing Canadian with Ski. <laughs> so, stick around. Okay, today, guys, we got some uh, kind of cool ones. This is uh, the Forty Creek Barrel Select, and this is the Forty Creep Creep <laughs> Forty Creep <laughs> Forty Creek Copper Pot. A um, uh, little bit different. This one's aged a couple years longer and it bottled at a higher strength and used, I guess, they used a copper uh, still to distill it in, according to the copper pot label there. Why don't you pour us a little bit? I will. And they use the the best of the best for the, yeah. uh, for the copper pot. This is the best of the best in that one. So what's kind of cool and interesting and unique about uh, the Forty Creek Canadian Whiskey is how John Hall, the master distiller, how he makes it. He kind of takes a winemaker's approach to his whiskey and instead of uh, putting his barley and his rye and his corn into one big mash and then getting that and distilling it, he distills every single product at a separate distillation time and ages it in different barrels separately from each other. So, so he'll have a corn whiskey, basically a bourbon, mm -hmm. and then a rye whiskey in a separate barrel and a barley, barley uh, in a separate barrel and then brings it all together and blends it to the kind of the perfection that he wants. So each one of these is made with corn, rye, and barley. That's right. They're aged separately, <coughs> then blended, That's right. then aged again. That's right. So and this one just a little bit longer. Yeah. And then at a higher percent. So this one's forty three percent alcohol. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and that's, yeah. And this is forty percent. So forty three, forty, aged a little bit longer. Um, price wise. Price wise. Price wise here in yeah. Canada, uh, we paid twenty two for this. And 24 for this. So, so it's a pretty good deal, both of them. All uh, things and they're both delicious. Yeah. Really. Um, so what's kind of cool is the way he does it. He does the corn in um, the heavily char charred casks. Right. And then the rye in the lighter charred casks. Just so, because rye has a real spicy note that he figures it kind of like rounds it out a little bit more instead little, of the, yeah. yeah exactly and then the malt malted barley in the medium. kind of medium yeah. style and then finishes it once it's all blended together in another american bourbon cask cool so he's a, he's a real whiskey researcher he's that guy. yeah he's that guy's really a whiskey researcher it. so and then um, what do we have on the so side here? in the, our middle glasses are the barrel select okay and then on the outside are the um, <coughs> Copper pots. Cool. So, uh, as per usual, we do color, nose, taste, finish, viscosity, mm -hmm. and uh, then we'll assign it a score mm -hmm. out of thirty-three point three three. So let's uh, let's start with color. Cool. Do we have a little look here. Yeah. These are <coughs> so they're very similar, but so Canadian whiskey, you can add flavor, you can can add color. Yeah. Um, I didn't find anything in my research. Mm -hmm. That indicated color added or flavor added. No, I think this is just pretty, pretty natural, pretty uh, artistically done, like a artisanal. How do you say that? Artisan. Art artisan kind of style. Um, yeah. And they are no age statement, mm -hmm. but it does indicate through through our research that they're anywhere from six to ten year olds, mm. uh, which. Which there's no good. shame in that. That's I mean, great. That's great. I don't think there's anything wrong with putting I think that uh, a lot of the time people kind of squash Canadian whiskey for not being as good as some other bourbons or Scotch or Irish. And I think Forty Creek has really stepped up the game with where we can be on the map in the, the world of whiskey. For sure. For sure. Um, so <coughs> we were actually talking about color. 
And these two are definitely on the darker side. They are very dark. Um, I don't see any kind of distinct difference between the two. Copper this pot copper might be a pot's touch a little darker. darker. Touch darker. But they both have um, a dark, dark, dark amber, almost a reddish. Sort of rubyish. Yeah. Really copper. Copper yeah. colored, yeah, right? Yeah. So, uh, color wise, that's, <laughs> that's what you're looking at. Maybe a touch lighter on the barrel select. A little darker here. Not much, though. You're already nosing. I am. I, I feel am. like I need to catch up. Okay, wait. This was the... Yeah. Outside was the copper pot. It was the copper pot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So I'm, I'm smelling the uh, barrel select here first. Yeah. There is a lot of that deep kind of caramel smell oh, to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm personally getting a lot of like kind of chocolate notes to it. Yeah. It's got a salty, sweet, toffee Definitely. flavor. Kind of like a toffee cream kind of thing. But a lot more dramatic than you get from a bourbon. You know, mm -hmm. like sometimes in bourbon, you you smell those vanillas and the and the toffees and the honeys and stuff. But this is quite dramatic. Yeah, it's it's different because bourbon usually also has like that cinnamon and nutmeg kind of thing Close, happening too. Yeah. Cloves and this is, I mean, it has a little bit of that, but it's almost kind of darker fruits. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's quite nice. I'm Let's, switching. Yeah, I'm switching, switching to the copper pot. Boom. This is like, wow. this is like in your face. It's nice. It's actually Whew. a little sweeter, I think. Uh, the, the boom in your face could be the extra yeah. 3% alcohol. It's a strong caramel, strong toffee. Yeah. I'm actually getting vanilla. like a little maple in there. <laughs> I don't, actually, want, I that to be, I don't no. want that to be, you know, like a Canadian I, stereotype. I totally but. agree with you, though. I totally agree with you. That there's definitely some remnants of maple in there yeah it's, it's like uh the sugars of the wood even though obviously they use oak but yeah. still it's, it's not the maple it, thing yeah maple is just a little there's just that hint of it though because it's the syrup thing yeah so we let's taste them okay taste, taste okay it. barrel select first mm. mild wow that is so drinkable yeah, it's very mild. I got a bit of a um. Mm. A bit of a hint mm. of a bit of a hint of leather up front there, um, along with the caramel. Yeah, if you get like a caramel like, leather yeah. belt. <laughs> yeah, that's I need one of those. Right but there's some ways. there's some honey in there. The usual, like we said. A lot of what you find on the nose is in the glass. There's honey and vanilla and it, caramel, little leathery. This is, I haven't tried it with water before, but I feel like there's no need because it's really well-rounded. There's no heat to it. It's uh, up front on your tongue and in the back of your palate. Just kind of, and again, the word is a bad word to describe things, but it's really actually smooth. But taste it again. And think Evan Williams for a second. And the reason that I say mm. Evan Williams, because there's a walnut in there. Let's walnut. move on to our copper pot. Copper pot. Mm. 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 This is, it's very like in your face. Right? Yeah, like, it is. It's good. It's smoked, it, um, like burnt sugar almost. Yeah, like, totally. It has, you know, like, like you you put the sugar on the stove there, and, yeah. you, and you like make your own kind also of also like a, thing. it's like the cracking of the creme brulee. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly it's the same thing, right? So the burnt sugar idea. And again, it being this one's forty three percent, and it goes down very very easily. Yeah, <laughs> um, but there's a bit of a coffee flavor, mm -hmm. maybe even on the finish, like that uh, kind of mocha chocolate sort yeah. of thing. And I also pick up like. I'm a big fan of um, candy corn at Halloween, yeah. and a lot of people hate it, but uh, it's kind of a different take on caramel, right? But yeah. it's, um, I love candy corn, and I think there's candy corn in here. Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of has that, that, that corn element that's yeah. got the toffee and the sweetness and all those things. This is like a dessert whiskey almost. Like, yeah. it's very sweet. It's heavy on the sweet side. Like, they're not messing around. Like, this it, is, is, it is sweet, but it's a pleasant sweet. It's not like it, that hangover kind yeah, of sweet. Yeah, it's not like ice wine. 
Yeah, or other ryes. Like, you've tasted lots of ryes where you just go, mm, this is not going to feel good tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, but the flavors are very bold. They're yeah. very complex. Um, it's very, got a robust kind of a, um, a gauntlet of different flavors happening. Do you hear those words I just gauntlet, used? Like, yeah. Robust and gauntlet? <laughs> like, I've been reading a lot of whiskey I reviews. guess you have. I think one thing that's kind of cool about this, too, is because it's so well priced you could actually do things like you can make a wicked barbecue sauce out of sure. whiskey creek you without know, without like feeling guilty yeah exactly, exactly without the guilt of like oh my 80 dollar yeah, yeah. Right? Like, so it's very drammable and sippable but you could quite easily use it for other things in cooking or whatever well said especially on in desserts probably Great idea. Yeah. Great idea. anyway uh finish yeah finish we didn't do finish on the other one i don't think i think we did we didn't but i think that again it's kind of cliche for me at this point. The oak is showing up. Yeah. At the end. A little, little bit, bit of toastiness. Yeah, it's funny. It's uh, kind of just straight. There's that trickle of caramel and toffee throughout the whole thing. So it's sweet up front. A and drizzle. Finish, a a drizzle. drizzle. It's just like that drizzle all the way through. And I really like it. I think it's the the finish is really clean and kind of like mouth-watering. And... Yeah. I don't feel like my tongue's all burnt off. Did that we that you get from some, you know? I don't think we even mentioned for a second that we're in a trailer right yeah, now. Yeah, this is uh, the old trailer in Shawnigan Lake where I kind of grew up through my summertime. We're, we're camping right now. Yeah. We're in a trailer. You're probably like, hey, where the hell are they? Like, what's going on? This is another one of our on-location shoots. Yep. Um is obviously not our normal location but uh shawnigan lake british columbia yeah uh, you probably saw last week or a couple weeks ago uh us at a picnic table with the beautiful sunset beside behind bush us mills. Yeah, bush mills now we've got this beautiful backdrop yeah circa 1981 yeah three beautiful. or something trying to oh and a shadow of a spider shadow. where is that spider <laughs> look at this can you see the spider where shadow Anyways, you. we're kind okay. of digressing here, but just... Oh, shit. I'm oh. not going to... Well, now it's gone. gone. Oh, I think it's... Oh, God. Oh, it's going it's coming right you. for me. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Shit. Anyways, go out there and get yourself wait, a couple Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 score. Yeah. Score. We pre-scored this. Uh, we gave the barrel select a 24. Yeah. And we gave the copper pot a 26. And given the price point, that's fantastic. Yeah. And I think, honestly, we could even rate them, both of them higher for the fact that Canadian whiskeys gets a bad rap. Where the hell is that thing? on the corner. Um, but they are a little bit harsh, I think. I think they still have some, some, um, some rough edges that, that keeps them kind of down at that, that 24, 26. Yeah, yeah. And they're not fully, um, they're not fully rounded off. This one, I think, has been made really well. It has, but, but there's still a little work to be done yeah. there. And uh, this one has a bit of extra rye on the finish. Yeah. It's got, that's where you you taste the rye. Like this one, I never kind of felt rye-y about it. Mm -hmm. This one I did. Um, so anyway, we got a 24, a 26, and that's almost the price of them. Yeah. I mean, pretty damn yeah. good. Also, uh, just want to say the the bottles themselves, I actually kind of like. They remind me of wine bottles a little bit mm -hmm. like yeah they're great i don't like that you can't see how much you have left really but yeah not bad not bad at all anyway hey thanks for watching and um you know stay tuned and we'll put out a video next week if that spider behind us does need us yeah so wish us luck uh find us on trainingc.com buy some shirts and hats and shit like that By from our shop shop button yeah and uh drink with us cheers cheers Do little little pep 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 little little Oh my god look there's a fucking shadow one hanging there where the fuck are they? The fuck came in They're gonna be probably hanging from that lamp. Jesus They're everywhere Tranny and see